Hello, we are watching something coming up on here. <laughs> this um, is, what are, what are we watching? Why don't you tell Okay, us so this is me using Krita and like, this is a really old painting that I'm painting over because I don't do a lot of digital art and I'm really bad at it. So I took this old painting that I did and I was like, I'm redoing it. In so this video. how in the world did you did you get it in? Like how did you get it on your computer? Like, the old work? painting? Yeah, the old painting. Oh well, it was an old painting that I had done in this program. Oh, so okay. I just I just, you just opened it and, you went open and added a bunch of other layers and yeah. Gotcha. Can you explain some of the what you're working with going back and forth with the head and? Yeah. Okay. Stuff? So I obviously fixed all of the anatomy. And I added like more details and with the head, I, I liked it was her looking back, but then eventually you'll see I, I turn it back so she's looking forward. And I, I, I keep flipping the canvas so it like looks good both ways. And I found that that helps a lot because sometimes I'll work really hard on like a sketch and then I flip the canvas and it looks really bad. And so this time I was determined to be really careful and I actually really hated the face for a long time. It took me a long time to get the face right. Okay, so, but you can actually do different parts of the face at different times. Yeah. Using this program? Yeah, you can, with the sketch, I'm really flexible because there's no line art that I'm, like, messing up when I use the select tool to, like, transform stuff. And I'll, I can select whatever I want and erase and just, the sketch layer I keep really messy, so I don't, like, like it too much. Yeah. Okay, attached. Okay, so what is this character's name? Scarlet. Scarlet, she is part of a band that sometimes they're aliens and sometimes they're not, depending on what universe I decide to put them in. And she's the, um, like, mm. all-around instrumentalist, so she can play, like, a bunch of random stuff. Gotcha. Gotcha. And she, um, is, this is kind of your recurring characters and a lot of your different, different plots that you have going on? Yeah, and a lot of times, like, there's this there's this artist um, Babs Tar. Uh, she's on Instagram. She did one of the Batgirl runs, and for some of her comics, she had to design like stickers and pins, just like for pop culture stuff that would be in the comics. So I thought it'd be cool if I had like a background element in all my stories that was kind of like interconnected. So it's this girl band that shows up sometimes as aliens in the more sci-fi universes and as regular humans in the other universes. Nice. Okay, so tell us about the costume that she's wearing. Well, because it changes quite a bit. You had like a green something and now you're changing it. Um, well, she she has green skin. That's what you saw, the green in the beginning. Right. And she always kind of wears this like leotard kind of thing. And I don't know, I, I get really inspired by like the K-pop like girl bands that all have really funny outfits, but they're kind of cool at the same time, you know? Um, so I guess I just wanted to make it look cool because, yeah, she's, she's cool. Um, <laughs> she has, does she have, um, is, it, is this one all of like the tattoo or no? Some of them have tattoos. I think I wrote down like what Wait, tattoos. Can I see her hand here? What's going on? I couldn't do this hand correctly. So like these are all fails. Like I did a lot of hands. Um, and then eventually I copied my own hand, like I took a picture of my hand and then like copied it and then I just like put it where I wanted it in the picture. And I still mess with it a lot. It took me a while, like to get the hair right, it took me a long time. But this is the clean sketch layer, so this is what I use for my line art, so this is like the cleaner one, so I'm adding all the details and like... Yeah, so the first layer I did was just a sketch on top of the original painting and then this sketch is like the details and... Like, this is the line art. Because my line art, my line art in the past has been, tried to be too clean, I feel like. So this one I kept really, um, really sketchy. So I think I might have to find a medium between these. But I, I like how this one turned out. Gotcha. Okay. So, you want green legs, green, green skin. Green skin. And red, red hair. Red hair. She's like Christmas. I changed the colors a bit later. So she looks less uh, Christmassy. Gotcha. Okay, so <clears throat> what else would you like to tell us about this 
painting with her on about this. What would you like to do about this? I'll bleep it out. Painting. Um, what would I like to tell you? It took me a long time because I'm really bad, but this is a... Just learning. You're not really bad, you're just learning. Thanks, Mom. Yeah. Um, this is this is in Krita, which is a free program that a oh, bunch of other powerful. people. Do you feel like yeah, it's a powerful program. It's good. It almost it feels like like a Photoshop, except is just for painting, which I think is nice because if I got Photoshop, it's like really expensive and it's also for like photos, and I don't do anything with photographs, so it's nice just to have something that's just for painting and not anything else writing on top of it. Awesome. Plus, it's free, and it's pretty self-explanatory, and there's a lot of good tutorials. So, did you just, like, take away the color later, and then just bring it back to draw on the underside layer? Yeah, so happened? all the colors are on their own layer. So, if I want, I can take them off and on. Okay, and can you put different colors on top layer, too? Yeah, like, it's all underneath. So, just now, I'm, I took off the line art, and I'm fixing colors with the select tool, because that's the cheap and easy way to do it. Right, so I just change all the colors. Yeah. I, yeah, sometimes you shouldn't do that because the quality kind of gets worse, like on the edges and stuff, but I'm really lazy, so this is how it goes. And here I'm trying to figure out a brush because when I do traditional stuff, when I do shiny clothing, like I just leave white spaces out and it just looks really good like that. But for some reason in digital painting, when I do that, it doesn't look as good. Like that technique doesn't work as well. So I, I have to like figure out different ways to do the, um, the shinies. Cause like it's supposed to be like a really shiny latexy leotard thing that she's wearing. Gotcha. So you're trying to figure out how to make that look like shiny. Yeah, I That's like nice. how it turned out though. Yeah. The latexy stuff. We're doing okay, so eyes. So what kind of what kind of tools are you using on your um? You're using that program. What kind of tools are you using on your laptop? So mm. I use a Wacom Intuos, like in like the smallest size. I got it certified refurbished off of Amazon, and it was like, I don't know, 50 bucks, 60, something like that. It's like a really cheap one, and like, I've always wanted a Cintiq, like the one that you draw right on the screen, but the, honestly, the Intuos, you just have to work with it before you, and then you get it, and then you're like, good. So it's been working fine with me. I got the tablet in, when I started animation classes, which was couple years ago like 2015 I want to say 2014 mm -hmm, maybe mm -hmm. and but I've only just recently like gotten used to using it because like for animation class I would have like a couple months of me using it and I'd get okay with it but I'd never do paintings or anything because it was just like plain animation stuff mm -hmm. and so what are you doing right now are you adding shading yeah this is shading so this is on uh, a, another layer? a different layer i picked one color <laughs> i put it on multiply mode and then i just colored in where all the shades should be and the multiply mode makes it all nice looking it's another cheat because i like to work fast and stuff so mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> this is this whole thing took me like three hours so it's sped up by a lot to get it down to 10 minutes, but it's fun to watch it set up. I'm kind of mesmerized. Yeah, it was kind of fun. Yeah. Okay. So you like this photo around the hip too, that's fun. I did. I felt like she looked too naked with just the leotard. It's true. Because like it was going to be a skirt, but then I didn't, I didn't want the skirt to cover up like the cool fishnets with the diamonds on them. So I had to, uh, Improvise. yeah. I, Cute earrings. Those are, um, are those, uh, inspired? I guess. I don't know. And there's my signature. And then my uh, sparkles. And we're almost done. And here's this beautiful, beautiful girl named Scarlet. Scarlet. And then here with the circly things, like I was going to do a bunch of them, like a bunch of spotlights. Here is the, um, old painting that I did before. Very long, slow shot of it to make the 10 minute mark. And this is the finished piece without the circle halo. I forgot to save that when I did the scroll down thing, which actually this is just a video of me slowly, slowly scrolling down. So I, I don't know how to do special effects or anything in Movie Maker. So if you have any tips, please let me know. Um, so yeah, thank you mom for joining me on this journey. It was very nice.
And yeah, so thank you for watching this video, if you are watching it, and goodbye.